the observation that confirmed the existence of dark matter. How did it happen and why is it important? But first let's go back in time just a bit. It all starts with a scientist in the 16th century named Kepler. He wrote three laws about planetary motion. The first one says, Orbits are ellipses with the center of mass of the system at one focus. His third law says, The wider the orbit, the longer it takes to complete. So if we look at this picture, the planet closest to the sun is the faster orbit and the one furthest to the sun is the slower orbit. Okay, so what if we apply these rules of motion to the planets in our galaxy? Here we go. We can see that the theories do hold. It's clear that the closest planets like Mercury and Earth orbit much faster than say Neptune or Saturn. This is called the Keplerian rotation curve. You get a Keplerian rotation curve when lots of low mass objects orbit one really massive central one. Cool, right? So you may be asking, is this the important observation? Well, not really. Here it is. What if I asked you to apply Kepler's laws to the rotation curves of galaxies? How do you think the curve would look like? Like this, correct? Same as the planet since the center of the galaxy is the bulge. And that's what all the scientists thought too and didn't really bother to test it because it just made sense. Now here comes Vera Rubin. She said, why not? Let's measure it and observe it to see if the galaxies follow the same rules. But what she found was much different than what was expected. It seems as if the galaxies with the widest orbits move much faster than those with small orbits around the bulge. So what's going on? It is most plausible that there is a mass that we cannot detect that is affecting these measurements. This observation gave great evidence of the existence of dark matter. Before Rubin, scientists thought that they knew exactly what was around us. Stars, galaxies, planets, gas, and dust held most of the contents of the universe. But now it seemed as if we know so little of our surroundings. There is now this mass that we cannot see, but we only know that it is there and it can affect space-time. So what is dark matter? Right now there is no proof to explain this mystery. There are two different ideas. Wimps and macho. His observation gave us insight into our role in this universe and how minuscule it is. Rubin summarizes this well when she wrote, We have peered into a world and have seen it as more mysterious and more complex than we had imagined. Still more mysteries of the universe remain hidden. Their discovery awaits the adventurous science of the future.